lunches with Brooklyn once, we were talking about being saved. And she said, if you have fully given your life to Yahweh, he will take away the desire of sin. And I had not felt that. So I felt very strongly about rededicating my life to Yahweh. Because I had given my life to Yahweh years before, but I do not think that I gave everything up. So I gave my life again, and, uh, and I do not feel the, the temptation of sin anymore. Praise Yahweh. And the reason I am being baptized is because I want you all to know that I am growing, that I'm going to follow Yeshua for the rest of my life. And I would like you all to keep me accountable if I am being led astray. Thank you all for being witnesses of this event. Charles, this is a real privilege for me to baptize my my son, which has been a miracle in itself, and and uh, I just ask you, Charles, that. <coughs> Do you love the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart, mind, body, and soul? And do you uh, promise to serve him with your whole heart for the rest of your life? I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. says to Nicodemus, unless one is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Baptism is a washing of the sin and guilt that you have carried through your life. It gives you boldness in the relationship you have entered into. Before I gave my life to Yeshua, I had been carrying guilt and a desperate feeling if I should rededicate my life to Yeshua. I wanted to make sure I meant it and that it would make an impact in my life. Also, because giving your life to Yeshua is a very humbling thing, I wanted to make sure that it would make a difference and that my heart would be right. When I finally made the decision to follow Yeshua and repent from my sins and be saved, I felt so free and light I couldn't help smiling. It still is a struggle for me to fully give everything that I do up, but when I do I feel like jumping for joy. It is an amazing feeling when you can give everything up that you have done and ask Yahweh to forgive you and believe that He has. Indeed, a privilege to be able to baptize you as my daughter. And I love you so much, and I just <coughs> want to hear and ask you: um, Do you love the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart, mind, body, and soul? Yes. And will you serve Him for the rest of your life? Yes. And I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. When mom asked me if I wanted to talk, we went up to her room and then I told her that I'd been wanting to give my life to Yahweh, but not wanting to because I wanted to make sure I would do it fully and completely and make sure I would surrender it all. Mom asked me if I wanted to do it now and I said yes. I asked if we could wait for Dad, and so we waited for him to come home, and then I gave my life to Yahweh. I'm getting baptized to announce that I will follow Jesus Christ, Yeshua Messiah, love him with all my heart, and walk in his ways for the rest of my life. I'm dying to myself so I can be raised up with his Holy Spirit. Thank you, Leah. You're very, very precious to Yeshua Messiah, and especially to you, us, your family, and we will walk with you on this journey. Thank you for making that decision. 
Do you love the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart, mind, body, and soul? And will you follow him for the rest of your days? Yes. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. having a good time? Yeah, been good. That's good. I bet you're not having a good time. <laughs> we have a new visitor this morning. Just appeared and sat down in Len's seat. We are awaiting to see Len's response. It is about quarter to nine. He's not snoring at least, like he was last night, all night. Well, he was snoring all night. <laughs> How do you know? You were in the cabin. Tara told me. Oh. Are you having fun, Simon, at the cabin? Uh, yeah. Good. Are you? Oh, yes. How about you, Sarah? Yes. You having fun? I am having a lot of fun. Last night I had a very good sleep over there on that top bunk. Nice. Bunk. And I had, I had very warm. How about you, Charles? You having a fun time? Yes, I am. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi, Goo. Hi. You having a good time? Oh, yeah, pretty good. Good. You, Brooke? Awesome. Good. Lene? It always has to come around to you. <laughs> I'm doing good. Good. He's silent. It's a secret. Simon, how's your ride? Good. Hi, Bree. Yes. Having fun? Yes. Hey, Gooey. Hi. You look just so adorable. You do. I'm serious. Uh oh. What is Sarah doing? She's making Len fish for his hat.
Well, that makes sense. Don't stand there with your hands in your ears. Don't give away the ball. Dad, go, go! That's good to go. Turkey. The turkey is <laughs> Poor turkey. Oh, that's big. But that is so loud. Go pull Is everyone having fun singing? I'm not. <laughs> Is everyone full? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've eaten so much today. There are a bunch of berries. Mom is the map lady. How far are we from the road? My calculations. Approximately two miles from the road. You're digging yourself a hole over here, bud.
Time to eat. But he was like, he gets on there and it kind of slips, right? Because yeah. there's no grip on his tires. <laughs> and it's like, wow. <laughs> Mom and I are holding on to each other. Oh, that'll help. Yeah. <laughs> holding our breath. There's just enough. There's 12. Awesome. We must be back home. At <laughs> Honey, let's talk later. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Yes, we have to rush home. We have Brooklyn has a meeting yeah. at 7 o'clock and it's 3 o'clock. So we have to be out here by 4 because it takes 3 hours to get back home. <laughs> Trail ho! Away we go. Stumbles, everybody fumbles the ball sometimes. Yeah. You're not the only person who's been let down and left behind. So pick yourself up off the ground. So cute. I'm a tourist. <laughs> there goes the caravan. You better catch up. Time to clean up the back of the vehicles. Simon, was that fun? Yeah, but this is a really very pretty view. Oh, you just wait. Now we'd have to follow that road. And that road will lead to somewhere beautiful. Boo. Boo. Did you have fun? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Whoa! Go. Don't crash yeah. into me. We just arrived back. We took 12 minutes to get from the top of the lookout all the way down to the vehicles. And it took us about 
four hours to get from here to the lookout taking the long cut. Sometimes it just doesn't make sense. No coffee. coffee all Smile, you're on <laughs> camera. Put that away. Remember? <laughs> I will. Away. Dad, I will. But Dad, you love my movies. This blanket? No. The Three Musketeers. Quite a day, hey Papa? Yeah, that was a good day. We left at like 12.30 and we're back at about six. And cut a mile of line. Wow. Yeah. Pretty good. Time for bed. Well, we need to have supper. We can have turkey and soup. Plus banana boats. Oh, oh, Charles? Charles you? Are you going? Yeah. Okay. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bye. Yeah, it's cool. Thank you for uh, this little cabin and uh, just a wonderful. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Look at that! No, you don't! Now we won't even need filling. are having some chicken soup and we are busy transferring beds from outside inside the cabin because it is just pouring outside and we do not want to risk getting wet right Sarah? Yeah. Hi. Hi buddy. Hi. Hi Goose. Hi. Just down there yet? Good morning Charles. Good morning. How is breakfast? It's very good. Hi, Simon. Charles, you want another heart? Hi. Yeah, please. Hey, Gooey. Mm -mm. Hi. Ooh, look at that Seven egg. Moment. He's looking longingly at the delicious breakfast. Good, eh? Keep that baby up. Hey. It's a little warm, but not bad. Oh yeah. Pancake and fresh milk. What a life you have, Missy. You got your perfect breakfast. So we're packing up to head home. The rain let up a little bit and we are going as fast as we can and heading out. Right, Simon? All those bananas that need to be eaten. It's going to be a muddy drive out. Mm -hmm. Most of the hills look okay.
Everybody, the river is getting really high. We gotta get out of here right away. We are coming. The creek is rising very rapidly. All the stepping stones that we used are covered and so are those little rock dams that the children made. Looks like someone got stuck. That turkey, lonesome turkey. Charles? Um, we were going across the creek and the belt it got stuck and the belt got wet. So we might have to leave it here because it's not drying that great. Yeah. Kind of got waterlogged in the creek. Looks like we'll have to leave it here. Can't even pull its own weight. So that's it. Yeah, so we'll we leave it. Yeah. We'll have to come back another day. Yeah. Janessa's is trying to catch her turkey, Mr. Oscar. Bit of a challenge. Yeah, he likes to talk to himself a lot. <laughs> yeah, I can yeah. see that. <laughs> Probably one of the only turkeys who's ever experienced something like this. Yep. You betcha. Washed in the blood of the Lamb 
Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Dad's on an adrenaline rush. Home we uh, you go. Sure are. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do, Dad? Oh, my big boot hit the gas. <laughs> it was the boot, not the foot. <laughs> it's the boot. My big boot. <laughs> oh, but why did it lunge like that? Because I nothing. Get off of that thing. Get that. Bert, what did you cook all the time? Oh, we cooked a lot. We made caramel covered apples, popcorn, and soup, and we had cookies. And what else did we make? We had beet borscht. Oh, yeah, that is so good. Oh. Isn't it? Oh, beet borscht out in the bush? Oh, that's when it tastes the best. Yeah, we were out there for six days. Six days? You should write that up in, in the post or in your paper there. We're making a movie. Well, that's even better. Yeah. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, you'll have to see it. It's awesome. Well, I guess, oh, you made it already. No, Amber's going to be making it. Well, isn't that going to be a job, huh? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of a lamb? We are home. Down the sides. There's Mom. Ida. It's are you undoing the I'm taking the side by side off. Whoa, Gus wow, is Gus so is big. Uh huh. Somebody to hook the cable up here. We powered out a bit on the first hill, or spun out, I guess. Okay. And so Dad has to winch the Argo up with that old, poor old mule behind it.
and they've gone Well, I might just break out laughing Oh, and I might just sing a song It's gonna be a good day, gonna be a good day I can feel it coming on All my expectations and possibilities What are you doing, Brooklyn? At least we're not in a parking lot. outside and of course a bunch of people out in the parking lot were looking and so your dad our vehicle was parked not too far so he just pointed out the window and he was getting his honking at the same time so there was just his truck going and another truck going and these people are looking like what's going on in the parking lot Here we buckle up, safety first, all the time. Oh, she didn't want to hop in, so she's gonna run. Hey, Missy. Miss Nefertiti. And homeward bound, again we go. We just got home, and Julia pointed out that we had no tire. Look at that. Care like money. Care like money. Pretty uh, flat. <laughs> Pretty flat. <laughs> Thank you.